Hello and welcome to this hot mess express, which is the fact that I made a noob error and decided to put heavy bolts of fabric on the top of my shoe rack here that I store all of my shoes that are listed. And uh, unfortunately, because I put all the heavy bolts of cloth up top, it caused this to finally collapse. Now this shoe rack behind me, I bought off of Amazon for $23. So it owes me nothing. It has lasted two and a half years, <laughs> which is amazing considering all it is is polyester fabric and plastic. And that is what has failed. So these little plastic connectors, a couple of them have completely cracked under the weight. Uh, because again, this is meant to be a lightweight shoe rack and not heavy fabric storage. But I still want to store fabric on this thing because it's very convenient for me. So I have decided to upgrade uh, to a metal rack. Uh, and I guess we are going to clean all this up. That's what this video is going to be. So if you're not into cleaning and reorganizing, thanks for being with me for the last minute and have a nice day. But if you want to see me organize all this and build a new rack, stick around. Uh, but I, I just, it's going to take up the same amount of space, except it's going to be made out of metal instead of plastic. I can actually still use this rack. I just need to figure out what parts are broken. <laughs> so this is not going to get thrown away. It, only the parts that you know I can't use are going to get thrown away. So my estimation from what I see so far that I can tell is cracked, I'm probably only going to lose like two shelves, which is not that much considering this is supposed to store like 50 pairs of shoes. But the first thing I got to do is I got to move all of this stuff out of here so I can take this down and put the new one up. So I guess we're just going to time lapse me running around like a crazy person. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to move all my fabric storage onto my bed real quick and then put all of the shoes, line them up, and then that is Moxie. <laughs> uh, and then we can start putting the new thing together. Let's do that. Also, if you somehow did not know this information, thrift stores and estate sales are amazing places to get really high quality fabric at very cheap prices. <laughs> like this entire, this is like tapestry, this is like a tapestry bolt, um, but it's all cotton. And I got this roll that has like yards of fabric and it's super wide. Like look how wide this is. $10, $10. That's normally how much it would cost for one yard of quilting cotton. And it's like not at this width. So don't, don't sleep on those places. So as for getting fabric, but I feel like most people that so know that. So I might just be preaching to the choir. All right, so now we need to move all of the shoes. <sighs> I don't know where I'm, you know, I'm just gonna put the shoes in the hallway. For right now because I don't have space in this room because I don't have space anywhere in my house because I have so much death pile but this stuff is all listed so I'm just gonna move this now. I should also say that this thing came in a very small package versus the big metal thing that I've ordered to replace this with. Uh, I will show you that in a minute, but it is huge, huge. Everything is off now, um, so what I'm going to do 
is actually, I screwed it into the wall using cardboard a while ago. So I need to go find my drill. I don't know why I'm doing this. I need to find my drill so I can unscrew this to the wall or unattach this from the wall, then start taking it apart. Well, I don't even really have to take it apart. I just need to unscrew it from the wall and then I'm pretty sure it's gonna take itself apart. Cause I think all that's holding it up now, right? <laughs> is the attachments to the wall. So give me, give me a second. I think I need to bring you guys up for this. Hold on. Don't know why I didn't think to do that before. There we go. Hi. So now you guys can see how much more broken it looks. This is where it's attached to the wall. That is the curtain. Uh, there it is. That's where it's attached to the wall. So that's what I got to do. Actually, you know what? Bring you up a little, a little bit more. There we go. Nice. Yay. Okay. shoes on the bottom shelf and just eat that over there for a hot minute okay so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now take this and y'all downstairs so I can get the box that's supposed to come up here uh, and I'm gonna have to take this part and put it back together again because I don't know which parts are broken and that'll be easier so let's go downstairs here is the box with the new thing in it. It's a big box. You can tell already it comes up to the door handle. There is my power situation with many stickers because I was trying to make this look cuter. Uh, I don't know if it's working or not. It just, but this contains the new shelving set. So I guess we can sit on the floor and open this up. This lighting is terrible and I could see every eye bag, but I just opened the box because I was like, it's dumb. I need to do this upstairs because I want to build it upstairs. So why would I open it and take it apart down here? Look, look at what Amazon did. That giant box is so they can fit this little box in it. It doesn't, <laughs> look at this. You could have fit four of these in this box. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm all for the, I guess, there's not even any packing material in here. This is exactly how it was. It's just this, this giant box with nothing in it but this one shelving unit. Uh, okay, uh, I feel like they could have packed that better, but oh well. So this makes me feel a lot better about taking this upstairs to build it. I'm gonna do that now. The box is open in front of me. This looks like a basic closet rack. And it said it was supposed to be, this does not look the right color. It says it was supposed to be like a bronze color. This is just straight up poop brown. Don't think they understand what color bronze is. All right. This does look more substantial as far as the rack goes. I mean, these are just basic, it feels like closet made type of stuff. What's this supposed to look like? Just looks like a shoe rack. But the whole thing is made out of metal. So the other, um, the other rack, the connectors were made out of plastic. The rods were made out of metal. So the connectors were the weakest point in the entire structure, so they failed. So this whole thing is made out of metal, so there hopefully will be no weak points and it'll just be good. Yeah. All 
also, if you did not know, all of this plastic material that comes in this box, you can recycle this um, at your local grocery store, like with your grocery bags. Just in case you didn't know that, you can recycle it. Recycle everything but styrofoam. I think some places actually do recycle styrofoam, but I don't know any, so at least in my area. So I just reuse it when I'm packing my own packages because I do sell a lot of breakables. I'm all about reuse and recycle. Okay, this seems pretty easy. It's, uh, sorry. I'm reading the instructions and it says, this is for use with shoes. Each shelf can hold 10 kilograms. So that's good. Um, it is not intended for other items. Please do not use for other items. Uh, I'm still gonna do that. But this looks pretty simple. It's just, you got these rack things here and then you got a bunch of screws and you screw everything together. There is still plastic because this is a stackable unit, it seems, so there'll be little plastic parts and I can put these on top of each other. So I guess if you buy more than one set, you can stick them on top of each other. Those are screw tight. All right, let me get one done. And I think I'm gonna have to like either point you guys lower or bring you down further. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to like point you down further. Um, so I know this is, this is like not a normal video, but if you do decide to sell shoes, I mean, I've seen so many resellers do like so many different things. I've seen like people who specialize just in shoes use that like plastic rack that I have and have like dozens of them. I'm never gonna, I don't like selling, I don't like cleaning shoes enough to have more than just one rack. But, this is a storage solution and uh, when you get to a certain point in your reselling business, if you don't focus on a high sell through rate, like for me, I, I have mostly long tail items because I sell a lot of vintage. So I am perfectly okay with storing some items so that way they can find their next forever home. See this actually already comes with a kit for you to screw it into the wall for stabilization versus my little cardboard solution, but I like my little cardboard solution. I thought that was rather clever. All right, so I decided that I'm not actually gonna like show you me putting it together. If you ha would have preferred to have like a time lapse of me putting it together, you're welcome to leave me a comment down below. So if I, this ever happens again, or if I have to build anything else for my business, I will know that I should film it. Um, but I think it'd be more satisfying if I just showed you the end result and then showed you all the shoes back on it. Because this video is already taking longer than I expected it would because I never planned for anything to take the correct amount of time. That's called time blindness and it's normal for people with ADHD, so. I will see you hopefully not in an hour because that's how long it took me to build the last rack because I get distracted very easy. <laughs> okay, I know I said I was gonna come back and I completed everything. Um, apparently I lied. <laughs> so I've only put together one section so far. Couple things. Uh, first of all, I love the fact that they give you two options to do this. So you have an option to do what I've done, which is have straight shelves with a lip. I mean, I could put this lip in the back and just have open shelves, but I kind of like having this little bit of security. I may change my mind. Uh, actually, I'm probably going to change my mind because of the fact that I don't think some of my shoes are gonna fit on here. So this might be the back. This is probably gonna be the back. What am I saying? It's gonna be the back. So I have to turn this around. The, but it does, but it does give you the option to lower this. So I could have actually put the shelves to where the bottom shelf, like the bottom of this lip would be down here. So that way it's angled. Um, so that way you can see the shoes easier. Uh, I've chosen not to do that because again, I'm going to put cloth on this as well because I'm weird. 
So I like that you have two options. Uh, the thing that I absolutely uh, have an issue with is that uh, unless you have an Allen wrench or a hex key uh, set, you cannot put this together. <laughs> uh, it is one of the few pieces of furniture I have ever purchased that's in one of these like boxes where you got to build it yourself, like Ikea or Amazon, that did not come with any tools. It came with all the parts, but you have to have a, a hex key or an Allen wrench yourself. And you have to have one that just magically fits. Again, thankfully my mommy gave me this a really long time ago. It's green, of course it is. So I had something for it, but that that's a negative. Uh, I will say that this is already going to be way sturdier. I don't feel like I'm gonna have an issue with this, especially if I make sure to put the cloth on the bottom instead of putting it on the top like I did last time. And I'm going to turn this around now because otherwise I will forget and then be frustrated. So, there we go. All right. So I do feel like this is going to be a much sturdier storage solution for both my cloth and my shoes. It, does look like it was smaller than my last one by about two inches, like it's skinnier, but I don't think that that's gonna make that much of a difference uh, overall for storage. So I guess I will see you when this is completed and then I will see you when I put everything back on it. Okay, I know I told you all to tell me if you wanted me to do a time lapse and like, of me putting this together and to comment down below. Uh, if you were already writing that comment, uh, you don't have to leave it. I'm not doing it because <laughs> this did take me an hour to put together. And as you can see, it's still not together. I got the two halves done. So turn this one around, just barely able to turn it around here in the space. So I have the little clippy clips on and I'm just supposed to be able to sit this down I, this would probably would have gone much faster if you have like a partner at home to help you do this. Uh, I do not. My partner and I live separately from each other because the housing market is stupid and there's not enough room for all of our pets and us and our hobbies uh, and my business. So that is why we're not living together. So. Woo! There we go. Sweet. Dun, 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 dun. So here it is. It is shorter than me. So it's like at eye height. So I'm guessing this is like 5'5 five, five or something. Uh, I do, this is definitely sturdier than the last one, just all around it. I feel much more confident with this but I am going to make sure I secure it to the wall just like the other one regardless because whenever you have something tall and skinny like this, especially if you have kids or pets that are very high energy, uh, you don't want this to fall on them and hurt them. So I'm going to secure it to the wall and then I'm going to show you the end result. I, I would like to revise my statement about the kit um, quality as far as the parts contained within. There was a hex key. <laughs> It was in the wall stabilizing uh, kit, which you would not open or need until you have put this together. So I'm just going to state that it is dumb to put the thing you need to build the thing in the thing you don't need until after you've built the thing. I hope that made sense. So there is one in here. You don't need an extra tool set. This is very tiny though. <laughs> but now I'm gonna hook it to the wall. I just thought I'd let you know that they don't leave you high and dry. Uh, they just put it in a dumb place. I know the lighting is terrible. I'm so sorry about that, but it is now very dark outside because I've been at this for a while. So I have all of the heavy clo like cloth at the bottom. I refolded it and reorganized it. So now it's only two shelves. And again, I'm so grateful these are much sturdier. So they're at the bottom. And then everything is of course uh, color coded because it's me and I'm going to do that. So it's beautiful. I like it. My big bolts are over here, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy and that's totally awesome. 
Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you did make it all the way to the end, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I know this is a little bit different, but this does happen. Um, this one was a lot more expensive than the previous one. Uh, like I said, the previous one was only $23 and it lasted for two and a half years. And the only reason it failed is my fault. <laughs> so if, you know, you don't put giant bolts of fabric on your shoe rack, uh, you won't have the same problem. Um, this one cost $85. So significant increase in price. I mean, you could buy three or four of the other one for the amount that this one costs, but this one... Uh, I think will last more than two and a half years. I don't I don't envision me doing anything to mess this up, but I should probably find some wood to knock on because if I'm going to find a way to screw it up, it would definitely be me. So here's this, both of these, both the, the old shoe rack and this new shoe rack are gonna be linked in my Amazon store if you would like to get either of them for yourself. Again, I totally recommend both of them. Uh, well, I know I recommend this one based off of this initial reaction and I recommend the other one because again, it lasted for a really long time and it was really cheap. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye.